good morning dear students good morning dear students we are studying the chapter my childhood and we saw the introduction part of that the beginning stage of the chapter how he was uh, how his father mother was there and uh, how he was living as a child so now he is telling about uh, his own the background area of the uh, it was given there earlier now he is telling about uh, his own uh, childhood how he was there in the uh, when he was a small i was one of many children a short boy with rather undistinguished looks born to tall and handsome parents we lived in our ancestral house which was built in the middle of the 19th century so he said that in his family there were many children and uh, he was one among the uh, child and uh, he was a short boy with rather undistinguished looks undistinguished means uh, different entirely different from others okay so see like uh, normally what uh, if uh, our father is very much uh, tall then normally the son also or father and mother both are uh, tall then normally the son also will be tall or if uh, father and mother is uh, fair the child will also fair so that is quite natural okay but sometimes what happens the ch child will be different from the uh, parents okay it may be because of their uh, uh, the means his uh, he was such kind of a uh, child his father and mother both were a little uh, i mean tall and uh, very handsome and he was not that he was very short a small boy okay and he was not that much good looking when he was uh, small so he says that uh, i was entirely different he said that uh, undistinguished look is there so he says that it is not as expected is you know so like more if I, like if i am very like a, a healthy fat and all, and my wife is also very much healthy so then the child will be also normally like it will be uh, he has to be like that so sometimes but it may not be like that he will be very much a thin or weak like that. when he grows up then he may become sometimes it will be different is you know my father if you see my father you will uh, say that uh, i will be also like that because my father is a short he is not very much big person he is just uh, up to this much of my size only okay so we will say my mother also not that much big but uh, both are almost uh, small persons and uh, in my family like a grand uh, my grandfather was a big person and uh, uh, my father's brothers are also big so that's why maybe i am little big in size but my parents were Uh, it is not very much short but a uh, little short rather you can those who have seen my family photos and all you can understand so this is there so it is not necessary that all the people will be exactly same like their father but most of the time it be like that okay so sometimes uh, we will be just ex exactly looking like our parents some people if you see the son you can understand the, who is his father is it means exactly both are same just photocopy of the Uh, father will be there so when you look at a person you can understand some of your some may will say that like uh, some people will say that you are just like your mother you are just like your father is it not so some people will be looking like father some may be looking like mother some may be mixture of both some features like nose is like mother eyes are like father different features will be there okay so but uh, uh, normally there will be a tendency that uh, they looks will be almost uh, similar but here he was telling that uh, he was uh, having a different look and uh, we lived in our ancestral house which was built in the middle of the 19th century so the house which was ancestral house means the uh, his uh, grandparents uh, made the house and it was handed over to uh, his parents and to him so they like uh, for many generation that uh, uh, they handed over so it is made by their grandfather or grandparents and it was made in the middle of 19th century it was a fairly large pakka house made of the made of limestone and brick on the mosque street in rameshwaram so this uh, uh, house was located in the mosque street of uh, rameshwaram so the street is known as uh, mosque street so mostly like uh, areas where uh, muslim uh, people are uh, located so such kind of names will be given for that place okay so here uh actually rameshwaram is uh, mostly concentrated like a hindu dominated place because a uh, lot amount of hindus are there hindu temples and all are there but in some areas where are uh, this muslim people are also there so he was here it was there so he was living in that mos uh, mosque street 
and uh, it was a large pakka house pakka means a completely built house full uh, means like a, like a plastered and you know so like you have kacha house and pakka house like that different type of houses are the categories are there. means completed house that is called pakka house if incomplete houses are there then we call it as a kacha means um, like uh, not plastered or uh, uh, walls are made with uh, mud such type of things so here this was not like that fully completed plastered everything nicely and uh, such kind of a house was there and made of limestone and brick and not uh, at that time it was not used by uh, like we are using cement and bricks and all for so earlier it was using limestone and all was using for making the house so here such kind of a house it was my astair father used to avoid all inessential comforts and luxuries so astair meaning is given here like simple strict and uh, severe so he was very uh, simple father like a uh, very very uh, like a very good father he was and uh, he was not uh, giving all the luxuries so means unnecessary luxuries and all were not provided okay used to avoid all inessential comforts and luxuries so whichever is essential was provided but whichever is uh, inessential inessential luxuries and uh, facilities were not provided the only things which is necessary for the people will be was provided even though they were not very much poor family they were like middle class family but uh, all the unnecessary things were not provided like if you are asking like most of some of your parents are very much luxury uh, and all they are providing all the things like if you see like you are you need to have online class some parents were telling that they purchased uh, spending 12000 rupees 15000 rupees and they purchased mobile phone for their children for uh, educating them okay so this is uh, we can say that this is a luxury mobile phone is required and uh, they can share their father's mobile phone or mother's for time being that's like few months it is there but some parents purchased some parents purchased laptop for their children some purchased mobile phone so spending money that we can say that that is kind of a luxurious spending it is not necessary you can purchase some uh, 6000 7000 phone in that also you can at least work some or if your mother is having a phone with that you can use start studying or with that way this is a uh, possible so some people are but uh, some parents are purchasing so much whatever you demand if you want to have a mobile phone and if you are demanding for apple mobile phone they are purchasing and providing it so such type of parents are this luxury uh, life or uh, which is things which are uh, not necessary also is provided to the children sometimes some of the parents are providing okay but some parents are very much understanding they provide only which is uh, necessary for the uh, children however all necessities were provided for in terms of food medicine or clothes so all the necessities were provided whichever things are necessary for them were provided in terms of food uh, clothes and medicines like if they are having any kind of sicknesses so proper medicines were given uh, very nice uh, food items were provided nice food was provided and uh, also clothes uh, good clothes were also provided so all these things are very much necessary uh, for uh, uh, the children and whichever is necessary for them were provided but uh, unnecessary things were not uh, provided like uh, uh, having some uh, like a mobile phone or a laptop or uh, such kind of things are uh, uh, or unnecessary some purchase some people are purchasing toys so many number of toys and all these things are uh, provided so such kind of things were not provided which is necessary for them only those things were provided to him and uh, in fact i would say mine was a very secure childhood both uh, met, um, materially and uh, emotionally so he says that uh, uh, so his childhood was very uh, like a very uh, nice childhood okay he was say, uh, saying that very secure childhood very uh, comfortable kind of a childhood was there both in a, a emotionally as well as a materially materially means that uh, all the materials things like uh, physical things are there so the things which is necessary for them almost all the things uh, which is uh, required for them was uh, provided so all the materials were available which is necessary for him like food uh, medicines or clothes or all these type of things whichever is required for him was provided but unnecessary things were not provided which is not in essential things are not provided and uh, we simply spending money for uh, uh, the sake of like uh, some people are purchasing dress for the purpose of showing not for wearing you know so means like uh, you see like if you want to have a shirt uh, one shirt uh, with uh, some uh, some 500 rupees or 1000 rupees one shirt is enough for wearing 
but some people purchase uh, shirt for like uh, 5000 rupees 6000 rupees and all and uh, showing that it is a branded shirt is you know so uh, such a way some people uh, purchase products or shoes or any type of products like watch or any kind of uh, products which we need we need a watch for understanding the time we need a mobile phone for uh, making phone call and all these things but it is not necessary that we need to purchase a very very uh, high five product if you are having money you can purchase it but uh, according to our requirement only we need to purchase according to our uh, income how much money we are having based on that we have to see to it that okay so it is not necessary that we need a, we are having very poor income and we purchase lot amount of uh, products and after that we will be in trouble so we need to have money we have to keep the money uh, for uh, our requirement so only the th things which is necessary has to be provided uh, so that is called as materially and emotionally also his parents were very much a uh, like he was having a good atmosphere in their family very good loving understanding parents were their family members everything was very much nice so he was say he says that his childhood was very much secure secure in a materially as well as emotionally okay so that is the second paragraph the next paragraph we study in the next class okay thank you so much